We have indeed, we found the Nkuhuma Pride. And look at this, they're back in their old haunts. They're around Aubrey's and Gallagher's Shortcut, which is where they spent so much time last drought. And they are busy playing in the mist. It is such a magical scene. Look how big they are. They are so big, I can't believe how big the cubs are. I suppose they are almost, oh, they're a year old now. So they are big and it's amazing to see them. Look, and they're having such fun this morning. They're playing everywhere. And aren't we just so fortunate to be able to have found them on the road it's so thick on either side of the road if they walk a hundred meters off the road we're gonna battle to see them so for them to have come out look at the mist isn't that a magical scene so there we go two sort of finds of lions in two days that's amazing we've done very well there's one that looks like it's about to pounce on the other one on the road here Craig let's see if it's going to there we go Oh no, it's decided not to pounce, but those two are having a full game. They're pulling at each other's tails and it's all just play, play, play this morning. And they're looking so good. The last time I saw them, they were at that awkward phase where they were looking a bit scraggly. But look at them, there's not too many signs of mange on them. They're looking very, very healthy indeed. I'm so excited that they're back and I hope all of you are as well. So James, you're wondering how Tinyo would react if the Inkuhumas found that mystery lioness that he was with yesterday. Well, I'm not sure, James. I think it would be an interesting situation. Hello, little one. Long time no see. Yes, hello. Um, it's It would be interesting. I think what would probably happen was would be that it would just be so chaotic that lionesses would run everywhere that Tinyo would probably get quite upset and try and sort of go after varying lionesses but he wouldn't actually know who is who and eventually he would then sort of work it out that okay this is the Inkohumas look at them playing this is magical man this is so so good now I didn't even notice there's another little cub right here on my right hand side over there is a cub sitting in the grass that's how well camouflaged they are there we go now, it just shows you how difficult it is to spot them in this grass. I honestly have not even seen that cub until now when I was about to drive forward to join the playing ones. But hello, little one. Are you going to join the rest of them? Now, I've only seen one lioness so far. I haven't seen any of the others, but I'm really keen to try and find all five of them because I believe one of them is heavily pregnant and I'm interested to see who it is. I think it might be the younger female that might be so pregnant but I want to try and see if I can find her and see which one. Maybe it's even Amber Eyes. Wouldn't that be amazing if one of them are? Now Lex is just trying to get hold of me of the radio so that I can, can find where I am. Look at this. You see them all playing? This is amazing. There is nothing better than when lions start to play like this. And the fact that it's in this sort of mist is just that much more special. It is so good to have the Inkohuma Pride back home. And I hope, like I say, all of you agree. It's just extra special that they're spending time in the same sort of areas. And hopefully this is going to be a sign of things to come. Last winter, this is the area that they really sort of dominated. It's where they had cubs. And who knows, maybe this female is so heavily pregnant that they know that this is where they're going to... Um, going to den again and hopefully it could mean that the Nkumas stick around here. Look, they are just chasing each other all over the place. How wonderful is this? Just lost visual of all of them. Now they've run into the thickets. Now we're just waiting for our last cub to decide if it's going to go across. Are you going to just stay there? Because it's the last one and I'm scared that we lose them if they do go further in without us being able to find them. Let's see, I'm going to try and just sneak forward a little bit. This cub will eventually come with. You can see where the whole pride was lying. Look at how the grass is squashed on my right hand side here. So that's where they've been sleeping. You can actually see how much sort of space 11 lions now takes up that these cubs have gotten a little bit bigger. They really have taken up quite a large area. That is. So Debbie, you're wondering at what age would 
the male lions start developing their mane. Well, we already start to see thickening of that area from now, from over a year old, and then it only really develops into a proper fully grown dark mane like we see on the Birmingham's when they become dominant males. And that's normally around sort of the age of five or six years old. Prior to that, they still have these kind of mohawks and very underdeveloped blonde manes. As soon as they become territorial, there's a testosterone flush and that causes the hair to one, grow, and two, melanin to be produced. And that then ends up making the mane get darker and thicker and you see those big manes that you'll see on an adult lion. Now the rest of them seem to have disappeared so I want to try and just quickly go and get past this little one. Oh no, they're still playing there. I can just see them in the mist. 